Hello everyone, my name is Eric Franklin and in this video we're going to free ourselves from neck tension. We're going to free ourselves from forward head posture and help protect our spinal cord all in one. How about that? Well, if you have forward neck posture for one, the neck muscles have to work a lot, a lot, and exponentially harder, let's put it that way. And of course they're going to tighten up some of your neck muscles and fascicles become very short and tight other parts will get overstretched. But let's look at what happens to the spinal cord. So the spinal cord obviously runs through the spine. If your head is forward, it gets kinked, sort of like this. So here's your spinal cord, and if you have forward head, this is what you're doing <laughs> to your spinal cord. Very bad idea, because the spinal cord is millions of nerves, and it doesn't like to get stretch and doesn't like to get torsion and certainly not kink like that. So let's stop doing that. So first thing we can do is take our hands like this and just put them on top of our neck. So both hands like that. So a warm up, we're just gonna squeeze the neck muscles. We're gonna go up and down like that. This is called neck sponging in the Franken method. And we do that with a little movement, for example, flexing, extending our head, uh, taking her head to the side, to the left and right, rotating her head a little bit, very nice, yeah? Good, and breathe. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna touch our earlobes, and right um, underneath our earlobes, there's these little bones called the mastoid processes. So find those bones, slide your finger down to the bottom of those bones, and just rub a little bit, and as you're rubbing, flex and extend your head and neck just a little bit. And jaw is very relaxed. So right under your earlobes, rub those bones, maybe a little at the back of those bones. And that is where an important muscle, the sternocleidomastoid, attaches. And we are currently freeing up that muscle. Very important for neck posture. And finally, we're going to take the knuckles of our hand and just give our jaw muscles a little bit of a release. So the knuckles should be in front of the ears, not too far forward like that. So in front of the ears, and we're just gonna drop our jaw like that. Good, if you want, you can make a little sound like like that. There we go. And we're breathing, wonderful. Take your arms down, notice your posture. Whoa, nice and lengthen in her spine, dropped in her shoulders, maybe even the face and the eyes, some more relaxed, wonderful. There we have it. Your spinal cord loves it and it sure feels a lot better. And keep practicing and see you next time.